Hi, this is Anagha Mudgal. Welcome back to the channel. If you've ever filmed with separate audio and video gear, you know how challenging syncing them in the post can be. So in this episode, we will explore how to sync the time code between the camera and the audio device if you do not have external time code generator. And we will also see how we can sync this in DaVinci Resolve with just a few clicks. So, let's dive right in. So, first off, why is syncing time code so important? Well, syncing your time code means that both your camera and your audio recorder are recording based on the same precise time reference. So that way in post production, you don't have to waste time manually aligning your video and your audio tracks. It also prevents audio drift during long shoots and keeps everything in sync, especially during multi-camera setups. So it ensures that all the devices are recording at the same time of reference. This way, everything remains in sync regardless of which camera or audio track we are using. So let's set up our camera and audio device. I am using Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II X as my camera and Zoom F6 as my audio device. So first, let's check the settings of a Zoom F6. As you can see, we already have a microphone connected through the XLR. Let's click on settings and let's check the time code settings. So first I'll make sure that my frame rate is set to 25 frame rates because in my camera I have set my frame rate to 25. Now let's set the mode. And here we have a bunch of options. So when it is set to off, that means that no time code will be written to the recording file. If it is set to internal free run, that means that the time code will be generated regardless of the recording mode. If it is set to internal record run, that means that the internal time code will be generated only when recording. If it is set to internal RTC run, that means that the internal time code will be generated regardless of the recording mode. And in this situation, the time code will be synchronized with the RTC, which is the internal clock. And with the external, the internal time code will basically follow the external time code. While in the external auto recording, recording starts automatically when external time code input is detected and stops automatically when the external time code stops. We're going to set this to internal RTC run. And that's all the settings you need to do in F6. Now we'll plug in the audio cable in the timecode in and out of Zoom F6. Next, we'll plug in this aux cable in the line out of H1N handy recorder for our scratch audio. Now we will plug in the Y splitter in the mic in of our camera. And now we will connect both the audio cables to the splitter. So now if we check our audio in the camera, we have this steady channel 1, which is recording our linear time code signal. And we have channel 2, which is recording our scratch audio. If you want to adjust your recording level, then click on menu and go to sound record level adjustment. Ideally, it is better to set the audio level to sit below minus 12. And that's it. Now that we have set up our devices, let's take this footage and take it in DaVinci Resolve. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and this is our Zoom F6 recording. And this is our camera recording. Now let's play. So channel one is the linear time code audio signal, also known as LTC. And channel two is the scratch audio which we recorded with the Zoom H1N handy recorder. So first let's create a timeline and let's import our footage and our audio. And I'm going to mute this and let's select them all. Right click and let's say auto align clips. Time code and we say sync. Now as you can see, it says the auto sync failed. Why is that? Let's say OK and let's first delete all of this from the timeline and let's go back to the media pool and over here as you can see that they both have different starting time codes so to sync them let's right click and select update time code from audio track and now you can see that they have similar starting time codes now let's go back to edit page and let's 
drag it in the timeline and if we select all of them and we go auto align clips time code sync and now now that we have set they perfectly devices. synced but if you're dealing with multi camera footage it is not the most ideal way to sync it from here another way to auto sync is to go back to your media pool and select your footage and right click and go auto sync audio on time code you can also retain your embedded audio or metadata so let's hit sync and now if we go back to our timeline and just get the footage and you can see that they're synced and we can check the same from the clip attributes that it is synced and that's it Syncing time code between your camera and your audio device isn't just about convenience it's about efficiency when you're working on a big project with multiple cameras and audio sources then time code syncing ensures that everything remains in sync even as you work with hours of footage when you sync their time codes you're setting yourself up for a faster smoother post production process and with davinci resolve syncing is as easy as clicking a button so that's all for this episode for now bye take care and see you next time